in the name of almighty allah the most gracious the most merciful as muhammad peace be upon him narrated if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge almighty allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise hello everyone this is dr tarim sud thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make this channel a grand success we are a partner and family please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far we as a team can work together to convert our challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories these success stories can be monetized into value addition thank you very much for your precious time okay now i'm today i'm going to discuss my lecture number 9 smart grid control challenges model as i have a promise to deliver 100 lecture on smart grid control challenges so before my lecture i used to read a quranic verse qala rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa halal uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli allahumma rabbi zidni ilma this is my acknowledgement page i pay my deep gratitude to all professors for their unprecedented support during my student era first a professor dr r k agrawal former director of center of sustainable power distribution university of bath he was my supervisor and uh, we have worked together more than 12 years professor dr abdul atiy adris late a former apri senior technology manager my mentor my external supervisor almighty allah bless him highest place in jannah he was passed away in 2016 Professor Dr. Muhammad Afzal Haq, former VC and ADUT Karachi. Professor Dr. Nad Mohan at University of Minnesota. I have attended a few lectures uh, related to power electronics. Uh, Professor Dr. Atal Rasha, VC, Krokram International University, Gilgit. Professor Dr. Florin from Romania. Professor Dr. Muhammad Tejamal from UK. Professor Dr. B. S. Chaudhary, former Dean, MUET, Jamshore, Pakistan. Professor Dr. Nasir Al-Madi former dean Qatar University Doha Qatar Professor Dr. Akhtar Kalam head of smart technology from Victoria University Australia Professor Dr. Suhail Aftab Qureshi former dean UIT Lahore Professor Dr. DP Kotari former VC IIT India and Dr. Rana Abdul Jabbar CEO ADB Pakistan Okay my lecture number 9 today on a uh, smart grid operation and control challenges okay now before my lecture number 9 i will give you brief about what we have discussed so far up to lecture number 8 in my lecture number 1 we have discussed electric power functionality energy efficiency from generation to consumption is your ultimate goal of smart grid lecture number 2 power system infrastructure development power system complexity power system limitations reactive power significance and management lecture number 3 reactive power management challenge to manage reactive power balance reactive power challenge at ac power system lecture number 4 we have discussed dealing with thermal limit increasing transmission conductor current carrying capacity dtcr dynamic thermal circuit rating technology then lecture number 5 we have discussed first generation second generation and third generation compensators okay lecture number 6 we have discussed impact of dynamic voltage support by using a different type of fax devices fault and used delay voltage recovery phenomena fidvr statcom ensuring voltage recovery sub synchronous phenomena ssr tcsc structure and functionality tcsc operational characteristic fundamental of voltage source converter We have also discussed a three-level Corsair harmonic neutralized 48 pulse voltage source functionality in electric power grid. Okay, so now today we are going to discuss lecture number nine. So on my next page, I'm going to give you a key takeaway points from lecture number nine. Okay, before uh, key takeaway points of the lecture number nine, so I'm going to give you uh, my hundred lectures plan. So. understanding facts concept and technology so what is concept and technology then power semiconductor devices voltage source converters 
we will discuss self and align commutated current source converters, volt SVC and static com operations, static series compensators, static voltage and phase angle regulators, combined compensator UPFC, special purpose faxed controllers, fax devices, and application of examples. I will demonstrate a few examples already implemented in the United States of America. What is the ultimate goal? First, shaping the global energy delivery facts on resolving gridlock delivering clean and poor power okay so on my next page i will give you key takeaway points building block of transmission network first i will discuss then I'll discuss state of the art technology fax devices relieving the major bottlenecks shunt and series compensation response time Okay, this page dedicated to faculty member and student, in particularly leadership and department chairs, dean and VCs of universities, as listed below. Uh, University of Engineering Technology, uh, Lahore, Pakistan, NFC University of Chemical Engineering, Multan, Pakistan, RCT, Gujranwala, Mehran University, Jamshoro, NED, Karachi, Habib University, Karachi, University of South Asia, Lahore, Uni National University of Engineering Technology, Nasr, Islamabad, International Research, Lahore, Islamabad, Karachi Electric. ITP Qatar sections, University of District Columbia, USA, University of Texas, Arlington, Dallas, Fort Worth, USA, Texas Tech, University of Lubbock, University of Bath, Qatar University, Qatar, Texas NM University, Qatar Campus, University of Granada, Spain, University of Salamanca, Spain, Comsat, Abdul, Pakistan, and City University, Peshawar. Okay, controlling power transfer parameters, voltage source converters. Uh, AC power transmission system technology concept we have discussed chapter 3, 4 and 5. Okay, what basically demonstrate here? First, we will discuss single phase lag pole operations. Okay, now consider operation of a just one lag single pole circuit in which the capacitor is placed into two series connected helps with the neutral point of the AC side connected to the midpoint and for the DC capacitor. Okay, this is my DC capacitor and this is my turn on and off device here and this is another. Okay, with the two turn off devices alternately closing and opening, the AC voltage wave is square wave with the peak voltage V over 2. Okay, this is my AC voltage on the square wave form and the is this is the positive and this is the negative side. Okay, when two phase lags are operated in full wave bridge mode, the AC square wave is the sum of the two halves of giving peak voltage. In a full wave circuit, the neutral connection is no longer needed because the current has return path through the other phase lag operation. That is how the single phase is functioning. Okay, now we will discuss a three phase, uh, three, three level uh, switching control topology here okay what it basically mentioned here as we discussed earlier it would be desired to vary the magnitude of the AC output voltage without having to change the magnitude of the DC voltage so the AC voltage need to be changed without adjusting a DC side voltage here okay now the three levels converter is one concept that can accomplish to some extent it is seen that each half half of the phase lag is split into two series connected valves okay so these valves may seem like doubling the midpoint and as shown on the face of it it this may seem like doubling the number of valves from two to four per phase lag in addition to provide a two extra diode wells however the doubling the number of the wells with the same voltage rating okay so this is operated up by the pulse width modulation with the with 12 k frequency mode okay now we'll discuss gate turn off switching gtu and gct igbt operation how they are functioning okay Conventional thyristor devices has only the turn on control 
a turn off depends on the current coming to the zero as per the circuit and system condition or system requirement devices such as the g gate turn off thruster gto integrated gate bipolar thruster igbt most turn off thruster mto and integrated gate commutator thruster igct and similar devices have turn on and turn off capability these devices referred to as a turn off device are more expensive and have high losses than the thruster without turn off capability however the turn off device enable converter concept that can have a significant overall system cost and performance advantages these advantages in principle result from the converter which are self commutating as against the line commutator converters compared to the self commutator converter the line commutator converter must have an ac source connected to the converter it consume reactive power and suffers from the occasionally commutating failures in the inverter mode of operation unless converter is required to function in the two lagging current quadrant only consuming reactive power while converting into two lag current quadrant only so the converter applicable to fax control which would be self commutating types so no today we are discussing voltage source converters what it has happens so the the dc voltage always has one polarity and the power reversal takes place or through reversal of the dc current polarity okay now if you can see here this is my the voltage source converter here just let me change my pin here okay this is uh, my voltage source converter and this is my dc voltage and this is my v0 output voltage from the converters and vl is a voltage from the transmission line if vl is equal to v0 so there will be no flow of current i will be the zero here okay if vl less than v0 there will be capacitive mode of operation so the capacitor will be more than the inductor if vl is greater than v0 then i will be inductive mode of operation i mentioned in the bottom here so then the inductor will be more than the capacitor that is how the voltage source converter are functioning into transmission controllers so now my next slide we will discuss state of art technology on the transmission network okay ac power transmission system technology concept we have discussed earlier so today we will going to discuss state of the art technology by using the power electronics okay now we are going to discuss upfc unified power flow controllers upfc consist of a two devices one is a statcom statcom has a capacity and capability to control the voltage stand alone similarly ssc stand alone capability capacity to control the line impedance when we connected both devices one in shunt and other series then it will turn into a upfc so then the upfc has a capacity and capability to control voltage line impedance and power angle control so the upfc versatility to control the voltage line impedance and power angle so now if you can see here we have implemented on receiving end statcom and on sending end we have implemented ssc so by implementing shunt at receiving end and sending at a series compensator so then it has a capacity to control first a voltage v1 v2 it has a capacity to control the line reactance impedance and a power angle so so the three parameters can be managed can be controlled by implementing upfc as a standalone functionality okay now the upfc is other important factor the types of the switches we should use or we must use the first is a gto igbt and etu it's a depend on the ratings what basically it demonstrate the converter rating is rather low the least cost and simplest controllable three phase converter would seems to be a six valve converter with one turn off device or diodes per valve in all fax devices there will be usually a need for the transformer between the converter valves and the ac system there is a, a certain flexibility 
provided by the transformer turn ratio to match the available device current and voltage rating. So these are very important transformer both sides where we decide maximum rating of the converters. A 6 pulse converter based on one device a power valve could yield a maximum rating of we would say 5 MV. However, even at this low rating system on account of harmonic distortions requirements complex decisions have to be made on use of large filters versus higher pulse order and PWM or Psi PWM converter topologies in order to deliver the results. Okay, example of applied converter a base technology. So, as we have discussed technology concept here. So, if you can see here, the example we have demonstrated a case study in New York transmission system 230 kV network here. So, the first is a 7, 765 kV. A green color as per the legend here. So then uh, 500 kV orange and uh, 345 red and uh, 230 kV is blue. Okay, what is basically? So it proposed to implement two times 100 MVA convertible Astatcom compensators. So over here to improve a mercy transmission bottleneck. It relieves the major transmission bottleneck like strong dynamic voltage support at mercy by implementing a statcom. Number one, has a certain increased transmission capability by 200 megawatt. So you can deliver 200 megawatt more power. Approximately, it will be enough power for about 200 a thousand homes. So introduction of unprecedented controllability and flexibility in transmission grids. That is what. Statcom is delivering. So it will control the power flow and voltage or it has impact on the voltage and power flow on the transmission network. Okay. Now to implement a convertible Statcom you need to select what switches we need to have it as per the rating that is GTO, IGBT and ETO. What it basically to say called a conventional thyristor devices has only the turn on control its turn off depends on the current coming to zero as per circuit and system condition requirement. Devices such as the gate turn off thyristor GTO, integrated a gate of bipolar transistor IGBT, most turn off thyristor MTU and integrated gate commutating thyristor IGCT and similar devices have a turn on and turn off capabilities. These devices referred to as a turn off device are more expensive and have a higher losses than the thyristor without turn off capability. However, the turn off devices enable converter concept that can have a significant overall system cost and performance advantages. These advantages in principle result from the converter which are self commutating as against the line commutating converters compared to the self commutating converter. The line commutating converter must have an AC source connecting to the converter. It consumes reactive power and suffers from the occasional commutations failure in the inverter mode of operation. Therefore, unless a converter is required to function in two lagging current quadrant only consuming reactive power while converting the active power, converter applicable to all factory devices control would be of the self commutating types. So we use normally voltage source converter in which the DC voltage always have a one polarity and the power reversal take place or through reversal of the DC current polarity. So this was my last slide. Thank you very much for your precious time. And next slide we will dis discuss response of the controller and then the cost factor. Thank you very much for your precious time. Okay, this is my conclusion page. Uh, today we have uh, discussed building block transmission network here. And then we have discussed state of the art technology of transmission network relieving the major bottlenecks. Okay, thank you very much for your precious time. Uh, we are still uh, uh, working on shunt and series controllers functionalities. Okay, these are references, the paper which uh, I have published in different conferences and journals.
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर प्रेशियस टाइम टूगेदर एवरी वन अचीव मोर्स प्लीज डोंट हेजिटेट सेंड मी योर फीडबैक एंड कमेंट्स टी डॉट मसूद डॉट डी आर एट बॉथ डॉट ई डी यू प्लीज स्टे एट होम सेफ इंस्पायर्ड एंड ब्लस थैंक यू वेरी मच अगेन फॉर योर प्रेशियस टाइम